Happy Sunday, everyone. I hope you've been having a wonderful, restful weekend as our family has. <laughs> but today is Sunday and I need to get going on our Sunday uh, dinner. But it is nine in the morning, so it's a little bit weird. Anyways, I'm gonna get started on some classic beef stew in the slow cooker behind me. I need to get started. The ingredients that you're gonna need. So I had bought these about a few weeks ago from 50% off so I just tucked them right into the freezer. I was so excited about it. And then just some potatoes, carrots, celery, just some seasonings. Um, there are some recipes that call for like the paprika and the onion, which I do put the onion, but the other seasonings that went with it. But this one recipe I'm gonna follow has just the season salt. So I'm liking that way easy. So the first things that I'm gonna need to do is coat two pounds of meat. So I'm just got my season salt in here. So I'm just gonna shake it up and then get ready to sear it. So this is gonna be the best part. Now, now I'm not just cooking it through. I'm just giving it a good crisp. So um, I need to get my pan ready for that as well. So it's searing nicely. It's almost done. I'm just getting some crispy sides, and I accidentally poured a little bit of the flour into the into the pan, which will still be a part of the roux, so to say. So it'll thicken up the sauce, so I'm not too concerned. But if you're not wanting to do that, just be really careful when you're taking it out of the bag that <laughs> you kind of separate the, the flour from the meat a little bit more. And then it's gonna go right into there. So I've already put the meat into the cooker and I've added some, some pepper and some onions, dehydrated onions, of course. Now remember the video, at the end of the video, I'll have a recipe card that you could take a snapshot of or just write it down, um, it's up to you. But I have the pan still hot. So what I'm gonna do is start making the sauce for it. So I'm gonna move my camera down just a little bit. So I have my stock. Yes, we want all of these little yummies in here. And I'm gonna put a couple of tablespoons of tomato paste. Worcestershire sauce. I'm gonna get that going. Make it into a nice little sauce there. Yum, yum. So all I'm doing now is just chopping up some potatoes and some celery and some carrots. And that will go into the cooker and then I'll put the sauce on top of it all. So easy, right? Um, so I just wanna make sure that they're cut into bite size. And we kind of like this kind of, these sets of vegetables. So even though the recipe says like four and one stock of celery, I kind of put a little bit extra. So. That way we can have a lot of veggies with our meat. Super good. So I need to finish getting ready for church here in a bit, but um, this is nearly ready to go. Just put it on low for about six to eight hours. I put eight hours on the, the recipe card, but my slow cooker cooks a bit faster. So you know your slow cooker. So just kind of watch it after about six hours or so and um, just see if it's ready to eat. I'll be serving this meal probably with some garlic breadsticks. Those are super yummy. And um, I'm also going to be putting a couple of bay leaves in there and that'll give it some more flavor. So good. Now this is kind of a little bit like um, the Sunday roast that I made a couple months ago. So good too. But at least this is a little leaner, the meat or the pork, the, the pork roast that I did had a lot of fat to it. So I really will probably enjoy this one a whole lot more. Although the other one is very good as well. It just depends on your taste. <laughs> so I need to finish up. I'll put that in and I'll show you what it looks like. I just put everything into the crock pot or the slow cooker and look at that. So good, the sauce is in there and it's ready to go. So we're going to put it on low and then let it go for about six to eight hours or so. So it's about 9.30 right now. We get home from church about 4.15 or so. So I'll give it a good, good look and I'll show you what that looks like as it's cooking through. I'm excited. Okay, we just got home from church, so I wanted to show you the beef stew. 
Now my, my crock pot does heat up faster, it seems like, or cook things faster. So it did kind of break down a little bit of the meat and I probably should have added more vegetables. Darn it. I really like having a lot of vegetables in a beef stew, but this still looks and it smells really good. Here's my bowl. It's still a little bit hot, but it smells so good. And I have some garlic bread uh, in the oven about done. And this is gonna be our Sunday dinner. If you have a special um, uh, beef stew recipe and would love to share it with me, I would love to try it. So you can send it to me at my email or just add it into, your, into the, the comments below. And um, I think everybody will like it. I mean, it's got all the ingredients that we normally eat anyways. We love potatoes, we love carrots, um, and of course beef, yum. So thanks for stopping by and seeing our yummy, yummy beef stew. Have a good rest of the day and stick around. You never know what I'll be rolling out next.